With the availability of memory, it's less of a concern now. I bet that at some moment of time, you have either considered or will consider using an in-memory database. And when you evaluate in-memory databases for your use, you will come across Redis, which is a widely used and you know one of the popular in-memory database. So in this video series, I am going to talk about how to use Redis in-memory database using Python. Okay, and we will talk about all the Redis data types which you are seeing over here right now. This is the first video of PyRedis series, which means Redis with Python. And in this particular video, we will talk about the very basic data type of Redis called string and what all operations we can do on strings from the Python programming language. And if you don't want to use Redis with Python, but want to use Redis, this video is going to be good enough for you. So let's go ahead and start. We are going to look into the string data type, but the string doesn't mean a normal string of your, you know, programming language like C, C++, Java, right? Or even Python. The string in Redis is binary safe. What is the meaning of binary safe? It means that whether you want to store name, age, address of a person or you want to store the picture of a person, everything you can store with Redis string. Yes everything pretty much everything you can store with redis string only concern is the size of the value must be less than 512 megabytes okay and you know this is a string data type but you can you know do some mathematical operation on these string data types sounds interesting let's go ahead and see okay let me import redis now redis is a key value store in a nutshell you need a key, you need a value and all those data types which we are seeing in this particular screen right now, all these are values. Keys are string. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. Let's connect to Redis server. I don't need JSON. Sorry, accidentally it was here. I connected to a local host Redis server and I'm going to set key and value. Okay name key is not defined okay this is key this is value now set key and value so now what happened that using the set function i can set key and value okay it's very simple and you can get the value by using key so i can get key or first let's see what is key key is one get key it's hello redis okay i can even pass you know directly literally string one and i will get the same result okay now this function is all about setting a single key and value what about uh, if you want to set multiple key and value you can do that but there will be different function and that function will be m set and m get let's first use the m set so you know it's all about key value and there is a data structure available in python for key value called dictionary so let me create a dictionary with two key value 100 and 2 200 no with three key value 3 300 okay this is my dictionary i can use m set command and i can directly pass the dictionary and you can see that i managed to set multiple key value pairs and let me get all three of them three key one two three i'll get value as 100 200 300 i can even use mget command to get the value of a single key okay i can use get also i can use mget also so if i use get i'll get 100 if i use mget i'll get 100 see the difference if you use mget you get things as an array okay i can get two also i'll get directly a string literal not a array. always remember this difference this is very helpful if your program has some logic on you know arrays and even if one element comes you want to commit as an array then you can use mget okay so now we have seen how to set and get the keys okay let's talk about appending the 
values in the key there will be need to append some values okay so what i am trying to do is that i am trying to call append function by passing a append value okay so right now what is there at one which is 100 and i am trying to append value now remember 100 is a number kind of thing but i am appending a string okay now the output comes as 17 the output is the overall length of the string so if you get a 100 append value if you count this the string length will be 1717 now with the get function we get the complete value what if we want some part of that particular string okay value we can do a substring by calling a function called get range passing the key and the range start and end 0 2 3 i get 100 a 0 1 2 3 start from 0 end at 3 so 0 1 2 3 okay and if we want to get everything from a particular index a there is a shortcut get me 0 to minus 1 minus 1 means everything i can even say that from 2 to minus 1 which means that second to end of the string okay always remember minus 1 means to the end of the string we can even get things by negative value what if i say start from 0 but end at minus 3 intuitively it's simple that you know minus 3 means minus 1 is the end of it minus 2 minus 3 is 2 before it so value ue will not be there okay similarly we can give a range from minus also minus 3 to minus 1 we will get l u e so these permutation combinations you can do there are chances you need it at some specific uh, point of time but you know if you do not need this kind of complicated permutation combination don't do that okay now similar to get range get a range of value from the string you can set a range also right so here i am saying for the key one at the seventh position set 200 okay and now it will give me this 100 a p p e n will be removed and instead of n 200 will be set okay so when you call set range the particular uh, element of that particular you know index is removed and the value is being set now let's talk about something which you are gonna use quite a lot and this is very very important and we call it as atomic operations on a string so it's not an atomic operation on a string but on numerical values stored in string data type in redis so in here i am setting incr test val a key at zero okay i can increment it and if i get the value it will be one i can increment it again every time i increment it it will be incremented by one and these increments are atomic similarly there are decrement value also okay increment or decrement they are both atomic operations now let's talk about the last thing which is setting the expiry value on a particular key this is also something you know many programming logics can be built upon this thing okay so let me set a key called kx value is 300 and 20 is the expiry time so if i show you the you know parameter of this name value ex is expiry okay expiry is 20 and by default it is in second okay let me check the time to live now it's 17 16 15 and in the meantime if i get the key i'll get the value which is 300 and at some point of time this timer will be expired the 20 second will be expired and once it is expired it will give minus 2 yes the timer is expired now there is one more permutation combination you can do with the timer that is you can reset the timer after the key is created but let me talk about one more thing you can actually you know get and set the key value also so at some moment of time let's assume that you have a particular value in key you want to get the value and set another value you can do that by a function called get set 
so let's assume that i am having a cakes i am setting it as hello redis and if i say get set cakes this is the new string value i get hello redis okay which is the old value and if i try to get now i will get the new value this is also important and it is useful in many scenarios so just thought of you know letting you know so that you can remember this now let's talk about changing the expiration time of the key after creation so i'm creating a key called the key it is having 30 second now ttl is 27 i am changing the key to 10 okay now it's 8 let me change the key to 100 so now ttl is 98 again 96 you can actually change the current time to leave you know you can do some kind of you know ping pong kind of thing where you can reset the counter every time a communication happen or something like that so these are the basic string data type commands which you will end up using while using redis from your python okay or for that matter if you are using redis from any other programming language or even from command line you are going to use all these commands so all these command names are same set get get set everything is same you can use it in cli also okay so that's all for this particular video we will see you in next video with list data type thank you all thanks for watching we will meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care